Right, so we're back with part three, and this is uh, fair play. So let's go and let's go and talk to Ralphie, shall we? How do we get out of this area. Look at this half portion. Where were you last night? I was with you. You go on ahead, Tom. I'll deal with this nigga. Sick. Hey, wanna say the Tom? So that's a five, a six. Hey, Titi Tommy, big day coming up, right, right? You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. Got to send him a message. So, tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard for a little dough. He'll show you where it is and look someplace else while you t -t -t turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sure. Getting in there is a Sutter guy, Lolo Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Ju Ju Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. And then I take the car straight back, and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. But Bobby comes off shift at 1.30, and then and, and, and the next guy, he's an ass. Oh, hey, hey, if you need somewhere to keep your motor safe where no one can take them, feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks. Good to know. All right, let's see what Moe's have got inside this garage. All right, I think we'll be taking this one. It's kind of weird, though, that you get access to what seem like all the cars rather than just as and when you find them. Anyway, let's hope this ain't the racing mission that everyone goes on about. It's meant to be crazy hard. I wonder how this will handle if I change the options to uh, the simulator. I'll have to give that a go, shall we? I'll tell you what, let's do it now. So options, driving mode, let's, let's change it. I have no idea actually what it will actually do to the, the driving experience, but I probably won't notice anything. Oh, okay, I see, jeez. Yeah, it's way more hard to control the car. Yeah, better turn that off. It will end up screwing me on some missions, so... You Bobby? Yep. We can take your car to the garage. The place is empty. Any friend of Ralphie's, friend of mine. I mean, if you got the money, sure. Tomorrow morning they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick up a dame than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. Things I've seen. High quality toys for both girls and boys at prices that can't be better. Beringer's Toy Department. And now, back to the musical... Okay, this is it. Right, let's see what car this European driver uses. Here she is. 1929 Carazella C Series. Best in class. It's a shame you gotta wreck it. If they see this down the road, cops are gonna ask questions. When they catch up, sure. Try to keep it one piece too, huh? So, I gotta be back from Berton by 1.30 before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. I heard. I don't... Right, let's just quickly see where the map... Right, so... Right, let's just boot it across town. Is 
be pretty pacey, isn't it? Jesus. All right. Try not to go too crazy. Ah, oh, the brakes are shocking. Basically non-existent. Better off just not pulling down the uh, acceleration all the way. But yeah, if you have to race in any car similar to this, I can see why everyone goes on about it being tough. See how close I am. Okay, not too far. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Hello, you. Hopefully, I ain't got to get back in time with the, the time that was left. Before anyone catches on, go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Hot cars, getaways, anything for the right price. Let's just hope Salieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay. Drive careful. Okay. Another three and a half minutes on the clock. Should be okay. But hang on, what's this engine? Does that mean I've got to slow down when it gets a little bit hot? I think what I'll do is I'll just take my finger off the accelerator when it gets close to the to the top there on that red bar. Yeah, I should make this in plenty of time.
Wrong turn. See how good this is it. Turning. Not so good. Right, I've still got over a minute and a half. Place. Like as long as you're not booting it, it's not too bad to handle. Get it in the garage. Oh, you're back. Thank Christ. Good to go. Drive like a jalopy. Okay, let's get out of here. Big day tomorrow. Sam walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying he's got a piece on him, because I'm not sure the bartender's going to hand over... Well, thankfully, ain't me and his two driving sons, this race. Closer, I can hear him cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom, just starts pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Ah, sometimes you just gotta make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom, you got the moment. Oh. Jeffrey, you've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Oh, Lord. Broke his arm, broke his jaw. That means I'm driving. Him to the hospital. Ah, Jesus. Yeah, tough luck for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, I Tom. Don't... There's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. The Don wants to win, but more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. Alright, let's see how many goes I have to take to get this done. I think I might need a little bit of luck here. From Europe, we got the hotshot favorite, Martin Lichtenberg, taking some time out of the International Series to compete with us today. Got some news from the grid here. Lost Heaven local favorite, Mikey Dunn, is out. Replacing him is, uh... Tommy Angelo. Well, I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him good luck. Well, right at the back. Right. They're lined up on the grid. They're ready to start. They're off. Lichtenberg's in trouble. There's something up with this car. Okay, how many three laps? position. I think it's the corners I can get them, can't I?
Right, that might have screwed me because that dude is miles ahead now. Alright. I need to remember this thing cannot break at pace, so I'm mean, going to need to take my uh, foot off the gas a little bit when it gets uh, big corners coming up. At least the dude in front doesn't get like too far ahead, which makes it impossible. But I'll make sure I take the corners well. I kind of always prefer being in second and just following the front guy and then at the last bit take over but let's just try and do this well from now on. A bit of a dodgy first lap but we'll see if I can't have a clean second and third. Did not take that one well at all did I? This can't be the the race that everyone talks about. This seems too easy. Like you don't take damage on the car really. And they're not really right on my toes, are they? too soon. I'll just let them back in the race. Okay, back ahead again by a decent margin. Just need to keep your eyes on the little map as well, just when the corners are coming up. That was the corner that always screwed me, so. It took off then. This should be me now. Hey Tom, just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now, if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure, thanks. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You ain't us all a lot of money today. And Morell's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> What about the European? He's probably wearing cement boots by now, the poor bastard. Oh. Here. 
You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and whores. Nah, but uh, maybe I'll buy my ma a new coat. <laughs> Good boy. Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, I just got luckies off. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so drinks are on you. Oh. <laughs> There. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. Hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy Polly. He's so drunk, he's gonna get hit by a parked car. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll get him home safe. Right, where is he? I saw him walk past a minute ago. I ain't got time for him. Taking too long. The motor, Ralph. I just showed him where to go. Not to win, just put my daughter through another year at school, Tom. Great race, hey. champ. Anything for the Coletis. Well, enjoy it. That's all for another year, folks. Track will be open until six. Weasley. Thought these guys would give me directions where he is. I saw you drive like that, Tom. I had a gun to your head. You saying there wasn't one today? <laughs> when our side of Let's go down there. In dough, that means you're safe. Hey, you seen Polly? The guy's a guy. I've been asked by the Is that him there? Like he's the guy standing up there. He's like almost falling over. There he is. Down says moo, where her chicken says quack. What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect. Well, that's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home too before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay then. I guess. Let's go, Jim. He did real good today, Tommy, with the driving I was right I was right when I found you you know what I said what did you say Polly I said this guy can drive Don Salieri this is a guy who can drive oh you, you see me drive now it's terrible look all over are. the place right here that's where we are you put me to shame Tom look at you Race car driver. We all got our. You're doing real good since you joined the family, but you know you got it easy, right? <laughs> Me and Sam, we keep the real stuff from you. That right, huh? You don't know what it's like. You get the call to see the dawn and your mind's racing. Done some bad shit, Tom. We're all in this together. I do what the dawn asks when he asks it, just like you. You're like me, you can't just shut it down, blank it out like Sam does. Go home to <laughs> whoever the hell he goes home to. Polly, you're drunk. You're gonna have to clam up for your own sakes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh, 
I wonder if is that the uh, garage or is that an apartment? I'm not helping you with that today. That's the garage, right? That little icon. Take me to the blue tropics. I don't know. I ought to take you home. The bridge. Take the bridge over to the island. Take me to the ladies. Take me to the sweet patooties. I don't know. Taking you home seems more classy. Ah, uh, home. Throw me home. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, well, okay, I'm gonna. Sweet dreams, tough guy. Uh, I'm gonna. Yeah, I, I don't feel so good. All right, we'll see if that was the racing mission or if there's another one to come later on. I just think that was a little bit too easy. Yeah, that's the call, Tom. You want anything else? Nah, I'm heading home. Hey, Tom, uh, before you go, I ask maybe a small favor. Huh? Sure, Luigi, what do you need? Walk my daughter home. Sarah? The way I hear it, she doesn't need any kind of escort. <laughs> yeah, she's, uh, she's a tough. This is a pack of boys who need her place. Uh, they're punks, you know, cattivi ragazzi. They talk blue, make advances. Sarah, she's gonna speak in the mind. Or maybe she says something they don't like. Things get ugly. But if you're working at home, this is a reminder of these punks, she's the dawn's a goddaughter. <laughs> no problem, Luigi. I'd be on it. <laughs> Damn it. Sarah, the time is a close. What's this then? Uh, Tom is. Uh, Tom's gonna take you. It's all right. Hey, I just work here. But should nobody bother you? Fine. If it'll make you feel better, Pop. Hey. I'll see you tomorrow. Let me get my coat. I'll wait for you outside. You okay? I don't need anyone walking me home. Talking about me, not tonight, anyway. I guess. And you can quit worrying about what he's gonna think. Not the point, Tom. He treats me like a kid sometimes. Hey, I get it. He's protective. He's seen things. We've all seen things. You know, we gotta talk about you stealing food. Hey, I cook it, so I get to say where it goes. Well, we won't thank you. Well, maybe tomorrow's finally going to be the day he fixes his own breakfast. So where's these punks in? Hmm. Could you knock on the door? Only got so many hands here. It's not as much as last time. It's enough. Nona thinks you're an angel. The Dawn hates seeing food go to waste. And this? This has got to be Sammy. Sarah told us all about you. Isn't that right? You're a famous race driver, Tom. Everyone talks about you. Yeah, she's right. They do. Well, anyways, don't let the cold in, Juliet. I'll see you at church. All right. Have a great evening. Good night. Buena noche, Sammy. Hey, Mama. Your angel Sarah brought more food. All right. Hopefully, this apartment ain't too far. 
It's nice you do this. That? Well, a lot of hungry people on this block. Yeah. Well, I don't have the patience for these kind of you. chore missions. It's a good night for a walk anyway. Now we go, look. We got the red dots over there. I try to avoid it. I reckon we're gonna get into a fist fight here, aren't we? Spend all this time with the lady killer like Sam Trapani, and the best line you got is "Good night for a walk, anyways." <laughs> well, it is, ain't it? Yeah, I guess so. Flowers for the lady, Signora. Nah, we're good. Now I don't get flowers. When you let me take you on a real date and not some walk home for Louise, then you get the flowers. Yeah, that could happen. If I think he knows anyway. Where are you going? Alright, that was kind of weird. The little enemy icons uh, disappeared. There we go. Oh, hey there, darling. You stepping out on us? Piss off. <laughs> Don't catch the kitten, doll face. We'll let your boyfriend watch. What do you say? We going to have trouble here. Trouble started back when you tried to steal our girl, Chief. You saps aren't careful. You'll end up in wooden overcoats. <laughs> Last chance to walk away. We ain't frails. We know who you work for. Salieri might have been the big six when he was younger, but he's all washed up now. Mm. It's only a matter of time before Morello punches his ticket. I don't need Salieri. Or anyone else. Not for this. <laughs> well, <laughs> then let's see what you got, cake eater. Mm. Where are you going, there, sweet cakes? Back off! <laughs> Louis Drake? <laughs> Some kind of dish, ain't you? <laughs> Get away from me! <laughs> I was just too wasted on that dish. Quick, quick. Get away. Lord, another guy. Now. Hope you're better than your friends. Come on, when's this guy going to go down? Hey. 
feel like I need a knife. Oh, there we go. That was brutal. I'll give you that. You're bleeding. Come up to my place. I'll take a look. You basically have to enter every fight with uh, with a dodge. That's anything. Well, you're gonna come in and take a load off, or what? Just a little bit too scripted. I'm wondering when you'd invite me up. The bank's closed, slugger. I'm just gonna patch you up is all. Now go sit down on the couch, roll up your sleeve. I'm getting my sewing kit. Doesn't look too bad. You need something for the pain? No, I'm fine. You don't have to do that. What? I can see it fucking hurts, Tom. You wanna pretend it don't go ask Polly to staple you up. What do you get? Compliments of the Don. Take another. All right. You're going to grin and bear this? Yeah, I'll be okay. Good. I don't need the little old lady next door complaining to the super about all the racket. Just be quick about it, will ya? Well, it's gonna take as long as it takes. The sloppier the stitch, the uglier the scar. That right. You stitched up a lot of fellas. Just my father. Ma would really go after Luigi sometimes. He got pretty good at ducking dinner plates. So one day she stabbed him with her knitting needle. Right through the hand. What for? Because she was an ugly, jealous drunk. There. Not my best work, but it'll hold. The scar will be something to remember you by, if nothing else. <laughs> You're staying over. Can't have you stumbling through the neighborhood pie eyed. Not when them hoods are out looking for you anyways. Yeah, okay. You got an extra blanket or something? No. And the heat's out. That's up, though. This can't stand. Sarah's okay, boss. I took care of it. She started working here before she could see over the bar. I don't have a daughter of my own, Tom. I'd do anything for Luigi's little girl. So would I. We all would. That's right, boss. Anything for Luigi and Sarah. Do those bastards think this is fucking Luna Park or something? I'll rip them apart with my own hands. Our business is protection. But who's gonna pay up when they learn we can't even protect one of our own as she walks home from work? So what do you want us to do? Teach these boys a lesson. Break every bone in their bodies. Put them in wheelchairs. Bust their faces up so bad even their mothers can't look at them without screaming. We know where they're holed up. The friend on the force says we should start looking into Chinatown. And Big Biff will know something. Tommy. Go to Vinny, get us some gear. Meet me at Biff's place. Yeah, okay. Leave these punks laying in the street. I want everyone to know 
we do not allow mad dogs to run wild in our neighborhood. You got it, boss. Some of these sons of bitches could still be on our turf. I'll check the neighborhood. Make sure they're gone while you see Biff. Good hunting. Yeah, same. Okay, so when you're done with Vinny, come find me in Chinatown. Sure. Let's go bust some heads. All right, we'll leave it there for this video. We'll uh, we'll continue in the next one. All right, so we're out for this one. Thanks. Enjoy.